Kellogg still hasn't been spotted up close. They don't even clear him. Kellogg's is able to farm up two. And here comes the short push, trying to capitalize on what their team trying to isolate the battles, but he misses the shot. Looked like a freebie on Chihuahua. Amo, you said it was clutchable. Well, they've got an after plan. Let's get out of here. Already placing the one, but getting over to Long will be hard. It's actually a stun grab well and an attempt to make a play. But with only Chihuahua left alive, it was far too easy. Forward. Push B, and then the players come up through C long, but the problem is it was all supposed to be a sneaky play to get those C, C players in undetected. Instead, the spike's being dropped, and these players now run into a stack. They're going to use the utility to divvy up the side as best they can, but uh, what, what happened there? Evolve had no idea where he was. Meadow trying to buy the time. The clock was so low, but the plan will just about come in for XL. They need a rush forward to stop it, and Kellogg's gets caught trying to do so. Nuki alone pulls it into the 1v1. Oh. He's even spotted Mo, and he'll take him down. Oh my god, it's a close round, but G2 going to be losing that third round coming in when you get the rifles, but somehow they've come into this one and picked up a bunch of frags. Okay, Meadow in a little bit of trouble. But they're going to plant B right side and then push into A to gain that post-plant control. Almost hold them back that little bit further. Chihuahua spikes check, but he still manages to land the headshot eventually. Hoodie just needs a stray bullet to get this kill, and somehow Chihuahua has wasted... Go and save these weapons. They're going to do so successfully. If they're going back, they'll be caught by the AWP of the way, but said it's going to be up close against Nukia, and Element wins that fight. Uh, Kellogg's even getting one and getting out of there would be a decent success, but he's not going to be able to. Uh, they've left Chihuahua there a few times, and I'm liking it. That almost seems like a, a direct counter to the way that Kellogg's likes to play. It's just not allowing anyone to wrap around, because most of the time he's not even watching towards the spawn to check in that direction. And while Vova, he's now left 1v2. Another clutch to come up! And oh, he's not far away. Doesn't quite manage to correct the pretty decent read on the scenario. It's just going to be the timing. And actually, that's the spike. But they're sticking around here. Astra Star going down in heaven and towards the spawn will lock them out of the sight. Cosmic Divide from G2 to get back in. Aussie's down. Element needs to go big and he only gets one. Oh, this is dangerous. A three versus two and only 10 seconds left to make this happen. Patatech goes through the wall and he needs to be so careful with that spike. Six seconds oh. remaining. Hunter's Fury oh, no. to the tag and Honey has gone down to... It's a nasty angle and it's cleared by Nukia on the way through. Four enemies and a teammate. It's almost yeah, an ace. Was... <laughs> well played by G2. Oh, that was on the basis of a grab well after the drone had spotted and not tagged him. That is kind of crazy. Panatex caught trying to get out. Meadow was undetected. Element, who had dashed in just a moment ago, is being cleaned up by Meadow. Uh, and okay, they're right back into it. This is a quick flip on the round as XL should now be getting a plan. That's the round of Cyphers. First Meadow coming through with a triple, a couple back from Chihuahua, and now it's into these clutch situations. Once again, attempting to try and find the wall bank through the box, but Chihuahua's got another. It's left on to Kellogg's, trying to bring this one back, and he's found himself the first. Just one man standing in his way, and he reads it correctly. This man has definitely had his doubters over the last week or... Really big that Kellogg's didn't use his dash early. I was about to say, this has to be the Rolling Thunder. Evolver's just going to try and sit in the back, but he's already been executed. A stun through to try and force Meadow off the angle, and Panadek finds him as well. A great execution out from the side of XL. Well, Ozzy is going to get the plant down. Kellogg's already finding a trade, and the ping actually gives Hoodie another kill. This is starting to fall apart for XL. A retake that comes through in a map. If that comes back to haunt them. I see Kellogg's is still hungry, and as he goes out, in fact, it's Element, who he whiffed on earlier, that takes him down. Yeah, in my mind, Element was already dead. And now, well, Kubawa's luck this time has been caught. Again, trading evenly. I'm going to see the Rolling Thunder coming out in UK. An aggressive position, still trying to fight this, knowing there's a pistol on the other side, but Ozzy is there to back it up. It's gone into a three versus three scenario, and while... Still a lot to be done, but a nice entry coming in from Mo will give them another after plant. They do have to be careful of Meadow, though. Well, he's at least caught Element. The Vova down below, they're ready. Oh, they were just staring at him. The info for Meadow, it's not going to really help out that much. Ozzy delivers the final blow. An awkward fight here on Long Meadow and Chihuahua. They've been dueling all game long.
And it's Chihuahua to come out on stars being placed as they look to try and make their move up long. Mo is watching for this battle, but Hoodie has won it. He'll be able to deny it. Ultimately, that plant is coming through. And now is where Chihuahua has his moment to strike, but they're worried about it. Nuki has spotted him out. Spidey senses were tingling on that one. But he wasn't able to connect the shot still. And this puts G2 in a really awkward spot. They have so many angles to clear. If they don't kill Chihuahua, inside, oh, well. Dirty. Yeah, well, I'd say it's done anyways now. Ah, huge round. Get rid of the one. Kellogg's is going to hold on to that for the next shot. This guy's full steam ahead in the final round, but he's not going to find anything until he goes fusing the operator like a shotgun and now getting pressured from every side. Kellogg's goes down, leaving Meadow alone, and that was a chaotic round if ever I've seen one. I was just thinking maybe he whipped and ended up uh, killing them through the box or something. Maybe managed to catch that during the absolute chaos. Elements down two. XL losing a lot of players here. And I want to kick off this pistol round with a loss. They've only just managed to equalize the scoreline. We're into a 5v3. Look at how low a lot of these G2 players are, though, Tom. Just a couple of bullets needed. But it would have had to be an ace from Patatech with Eddie. And I think for someone like Kellogg's, he comes in, sure, with a bit of uh, a lot of eyes on him. Everybody's going to be looking. But from what I've seen, the response has always been very positive to him, purely because he's a man that puts up the numbers. Again and again, shock dart in, not going to land on the players. And a wide swing after Patty's flash gets them a triple. Fantastic opening for XL into this bye round. That's not ideal. It looks like he wants more than just a rifle or a plant. Meta wants a kill. He's taken the control at least. The only player they really have to worry about at this point is going to be Chihuahua. And they're trying to see if there's any utility left to bait out. We know the Aussie's there. Chihuahua just jumps down, though. That's so unnecessarily risky. The other two players are a little bit far away. And now Meadow is ready and waiting. And he's going to get the call out on the final two. ...has left to the A site. They've three stacked up that side of the map. And this play inside Garage is all that's left of a defense <gasps> that's not going to hit Aussie! The Rolling Thunder a little too... Again, they've got an after plan. Now, there's a Rolling Thunder here. That's why you can see them stack east. Gonna lead to some panic from XL as they push through. That smoke still up. Recon through halfway defused already. There's the reveal. Nobody answers up on the what? back of it. Oh my god! Element is really going ham with a 3k to close that out. No scoping, classicking, and honestly, with an operate. Ooh, where's the reaction from Chihuahua? What's he going to do? It looks like he wants to jump through that smoke. It's at least toying with the idea. His teammates now died on sight, so here he goes. Chihuahua dropping down, eliminating Hoodie. Rolling Thunder comes through. Ozzy still alive on the back. Sight's able to capitalize on one, and that is a great reaction from XL. Completely nullifying G2's push. For sure, well, now you start to worry, is there an operator in heaven? Maybe they got something like that going on. Well, they're going to pop down their stars so they don't have to worry about it, and that should be a nice free take on the side. And, okay, XL are running back in here. Patatech leading the charge, and Tom, I mean, they're going one by one, staggering the push, support leading the charge. I am beyond confused. And it has not gone according to plan. Yeah, Meta will take that all day long. Thank you very much. A couple of free kills, and now Ozzy... Left in... Taking that back. Wow. I don't want to say it's an impossible clutch, but it sure as hell looks like one. It gets the first in a 1v4, but there's still three standing. The remainder healthy as can be, and in a crossfire that doesn't give him a lot of space. He fakes out the smoke so that Meadow almost pushes into it to spot him, and he goes down. A nice attempt. Now tries to jump down, I thought, for a second. You have done well to pick them apart. Again, they've right still got all of those ultimates online ready for use. But they haven't really needed them so much. Just some solid executions over the last couple of rounds. Blinding. Blinding. Oh, that flash. Spike the peak from Chihuahua. Me. Perfectly timed spike on the floor. The big blow dealt to G2. Cloud burst used up there as well. And they don't know about Ozzy. That's big. Oh, he's even able for more. How is he still standing in the open? He shouldn't be allowed to get away with this. Five versus two, and G2 have completely crumbled in this round. Look at this. Ozzy is just having an easy time. 30 seconds left. And Kellogg's. One versus five. I, but any damage here would be great. He's already got his blade storm for the next round, so... The rifle's not going to be the end of the world, and Element, he wants to fight him. He's looking to <laughs> just punch him out of the server at the end. It's going to be 11 to 9. It's going to go up. 
Ah, no, no, he's in trouble. Kellogg's already on top of Mo, and the trade is there quick and fast. Oh, no, Weapon exactly retrieve. Anyway. Element gonna try his best, but now he's spotted out alone on long. He can't even go to site. Nowhere is safe. He's completely surrounded. The drone coming out on long and Sova right afterwards. He's not dead yet, but he soon will be. Although, Aussie is going to be left alone. A one versus two. G2 lose a couple of players there, but this is still looking like it's going to be theirs. Although this man in the last clutch came close. He gets the timing perfect on Tanuki. Of over now only on eight seconds left. Luckily, he doesn't really need to. Plants already going to be secured. Ozzy isn't coming from here. It's probably going to be when that spike gets tapped. There's the smoke already down. The tap secured. Avova sneaking his way through. It's already halfway. He's got to get his weapon out now. Into the smoke he goes, and he's waiting. When Ozzy steps back in, it's the diffuse. Sat there waiting for him as Avova. Wow, twelve to nine. And we're now looking at map point for G2. That was the bell. All they need is for G2 to fall into the trap. And Ozzy's actually gone out and brought the fight right to them, but it hasn't been successful with the immediate trade and element now being hunted down. That fury coming after him, but he'll survive it. Oh, and actually, there's one popped on the other side and Mo lands it. So Meadow falls instead. But while this has been going on, the rest of G2 haven't been sat dormant. They've been taking control. They've been making a move into the C site. The flank is currently being watched. This duel is everything, and UK wins it. Turns it back into a 3v3 situation. Rolling Thunder ready to try and hold in that afterplant, and they're just going to fall all the way back. Mo also gets stunned up on the way through, just buying that little bit of extra time. And this time, well, Avova does have stars. Yeah, it's definitely going to help him out running that clock down a little bit lower. Rolling Thunder to do much of the same. Stopping them completely. Nukia answers up on it. Recon is through. Oh, this is just so good. There's the reveal. They even know where Element is. And in a 1v3, <laughs> there is no way that this one's getting won. The shot connected, but 26 health left. No time. A stun up as well. Tech that's getting aggressive. The rest of XL joining him. A four-player mid-push coming out of these guys. And that has already gained them a kill. A lot of damage as well. But Meadow manages to return. Make sure you ignore them. They are definitely backwards. But Ozzy is going to be able to find another one back. It leaves three players at least getting some control. Now, normally there's some decent after part and utility, but it doesn't seem to be there at the moment. Only a solo star available for Avova, and, well, it's also getting his teammate sectioned off. They're going to try and get a little bit more aggressive. The push from Hoodie, though, gets absolutely nothing, and they are being slaughtered one by one. It's left onto Avova again, and this clutch, slightly more difficult than the one we've seen prior. It will be Chihuahua, who closes it out. And it will be XL on two. And you see they use their drone up early to clear out these close angles. Kellogg sent dashes onto the side, but Chihuahua catches him. No escape from Generator from that point, though. So the man advantage does sit with the attackers and only extends further in their favor. Yeah, it, it, it's the curse of the jet, really. You're dashing into the site. You're taking big risks to try and give your team space. As long as they're trading effectively, as we saw there, it, it really doesn't matter too much. And well, for the remaining two players of XL, Again, it comes down to damage. Can you hold some of these players into the site? Can you force a couple of rebuys for the next round? Can you maybe steal away a rifle for yourself? By the looks of it, the answer is no. Although Panatic actually wins that battle at range. A little bit surprised. Again, it's a similar the way the run it back's coming out. I mean, I thought they'd wait at least a moment, but why would you? When you're able to get two kills that quickly with Element. Door being destroyed is a big problem for them, and they're going to combat that by just pushing on through, looking to take those duels, and they get a lot of them. But then, in comes Element from short, catching them unaware. Mo he'll get res. finishing off another, and Hoodie, yeah, he'll get res, but he won't have an opportunity to use it. In fact, with 14 seconds left, he might not even have an opportunity to plant. Out they come to challenge. The chance was given, but they've closed. Definitely going to spot someone on the way through, and already three players ready and waiting. Chihuahua's down, though. This could become a problem. Aussie's fallen. Luckily, their savior, Element, has managed to find two and make this a little bit less of a worry. Hoodie, though, is actually going to invest the ult. I believe that brings the knives back online as long as they weren't used earlier. And you can see, I, I think they are. The flash straight through, though. They're not allowing the plant. They're going in for the fight. Kellogg's managing to find out one. And the problem now is that the time is ticking. The flash is nigh on perfect, forcing them back. And while everything just seems to be falling apart for G2. XL recover. Yeah, it basically becomes a game of chicken. He's, he's going to try and hold on to that until the lockdown goes down. And... 
Well, they're going to try and use it after the fact. Nice start from Element. The other thing to know about the last round is, sure, financially it wasn't great, but they used three ultimates in that round. Kellogg's no. That is ridiculous. Snap. On the A side, Shock Dark's coming in. That was the turret it was on top of. But that second one lands on Nukia. Recon as well coming through. Not really netting them anything. Was that a, a whip one? <gasps> oh, no. I mean, for Kellogg's to find that kill to Element now, what do you do? XL need to push out and hope that they win these fights. The barrel's being spotted, but oh. the cage goes down. Oh, Chihuahua. If he had a second longer on that cage, maybe it would have worked out. But now Mo is left with an impossible task. And there you go. The conclusion to it. Four. They're about to be spotted out as well by the drone. And now things are going to fall apart for this squad. Kellogg's. Oh! 40 uh... HP left. Time to get out of there. Gonna have to be a quick shot by Kellogg's. And he's shift walking up to the corner. Gonna make it around. Take it away. Get his weapon back out. He's on 14 health at this point, and Padatek takes him down. Now things get very dangerous. A rifle retrieved, and he can heal himself up fully by popping that ultimate. They know exactly where the spike is, and now they just need to use that weapon in the form of Padatek to open the space. Yeah, they've still got the Hunter's Fury, so again, the lockdown almost seems to come through as null and void, but Nuke instead is going to opt to try and take the space. Now he has his own Hunter's Fury, and in an afterplant from this position, they have to clear it. They need to kill him off before they can get absolutely anything done. By the looks of it, XL might not be willing to invest that ultimate just because of the control that's been taken. But Patatek then clears him, and now it's left all on 12 over again, but he's brought it back to the one versus one. Back through the Molotov he goes, but he can't quite close. Was it damn good attempt that's gonna be close but he's got it nice i said he was getting pinged through a wall and oh, managed to survive element it's just disrespectful oh a big task chihuahua oh he's got one nice and easy alongside mo another to be found in the hands of meadow remember g2 bought up this round they went to zero oh, credits and with only one player left alive, it's looking like they're going to pay a heavy price for that. With an eco to come up next and seven rounds for XL, almost guaranteed. This is an incredible... Here we go! The lockdown! Round 10! It's finally been put in for G2! And Element tries to make a play off the back of it. That Hunter's Fury going through for just a second was enough. And they've even got a grab well. Chihuahua is screwed in this scenario. Finally, they managed to use that ult. And it's probably got them around. Ten seconds left. Yeah, to be honest, I assumed there was some sort of a secondary plan for dealing with it. I thought it was a fairly binary response. If you put that Hunter's Fury down, then lockdown's going to come in. In the other direction, but Ozzy is sat there with his star remaining. And actually, they're going to clear this spot in just a moment because they have the run it back going to hunt down Hoodie. Well, here comes the push on through. G2. Trying to open up these fights, but Chihuahua again going to be a bit of a pain in the side for them. Evolva's managed to deal with him, though, and get that plant on through. With the star still remaining, he'll look for a post-plant in a little bit. In fact, no, the star is going to go down up towards heaven. I'm not sure if he has any pulled back yet. Coming back online in a moment, but... That's going to be quite an aggressive play. Maybe they're going to get Nuki to try spam. No, in fact, it's a smoke that they'll play through. That kind of plays into Patatek's hands if he has a flash, but he doesn't. Instead, he's going to go out there with his bullets and take the first one. The wall soon to fade. Evolva staying alive, but now he's caught, and Hoodie's going to be last alive. They know exactly where he is, but getting this diffused through will be difficult. Still, element covering allows it to happen. And so we will see another round where Patatek probably doesn't expect four players to come swinging on him any moment. Up on top of the wall he goes. <laughs> he definitely wasn't expecting that. Taken down in the end, boosted, but not in a good way. And now we leave Meadow. He's trapped outside of A. The rest of the team rallying their way in. He could have some great timing as they're distracted looking towards heaven, but he's not even needed. Kellogg's just cleans house left. all by himself. I think we've seen a couple of rounds like that. Like Honestly, the fact that G2 are about to get four rounds on the board or almost solely because of the ability of this man just to, to win rounds for them. Like He has had a fantastic performance thus far, and he's just carrying on. Four kills already, looking to try and close it with an ace. I'm sure that he's going to get a little bit aggressive to try and finish it, but well, seemingly actually not overfacing it. Just waiting for the peak to come through. May even swing off, and it's actually going to be Meadow to close it. Just going to be... Tapping away, 
But they have managed to get quite a lot of control here, but the rotation is very, very quick. Well, there's the spike dropped immediately. Patatek gets quite a bit of damage done through the smoke. Now looks towards the site where there's some players to deal with down below, namely Avova, who's already walked away with three. The round comes to a quick way, so very, very unlikely to see anything here. Hoodie, though. Oh, they'll now know it's there. Instantly, you start seeing the rotation. The slows put through of over. About to come under pressure. I don't think he expected anyone to be that far forward. But there's still going to be a trade back. And with the HP, those rifles aren't actually that much of a detriment anymore to G2. This is very winnable. Oh, the drop is good. But although it gets a bullet out, Mo still survives on 16 HP. Kellogg's and Nukia have to make this happen. Nukia peeking down below will find the first. Low HP on Chihuahua in main. But he hasn't been spotted or heard just yet. The info's still not there, so he's able to sideswipe. That shot not landing from up above. Kel still think there's only one or two players here, and they're going to charge on out, but that's going to be a big mistake as Hoodie is getting a flank up. Chihuahua will eventually deal with him, but there's just so many players diving at them left, right, and center. Time now becomes an issue. The spike's in the open. There's six seconds left. They've got to run to sight, and time is just about on their side. I think they've got this planted, and indeed they do. Kellogg's has to clutch it out with the oh, open. He no, won't again. get it done. XL just about taking a... He's just going to sit in the grab well, but it leaves him low. It won't matter. The trade's coming back and forth, and maybe it will matter. Yeah, the instantaneous trade is element falls. XL gained the sight. With a spike in hand, at least that will be a plan to step back into a 4v2 with the pistols. Oh. It's not a problem at all. I, I uh -oh. misspoke in there, evidently, because they've just made it look like they had the better weapons. That was clean. It was just because he managed, like Chihuahua managed to dodge the drone completely. I'll say, XL running into this utility haven't had the worst of times in at least securing the site. The Blade Storm's ability to move around is going to help a lot. And that dash is still online to play with. The Vova doesn't seem to turn at all, though, despite spotting the jet a moment ago. He is saved. Like, the, the short utility I, like it hasn't been that much of a problem here i <laughs> see that though elements charging in yet again he's taking down a fight and more than enough time to just reset and take the other two have, have responded in turn it's only going to be one man standing and well mo not really much you can hope to do again it's the same scenario as the last round may not even realize that there's still a player watching into mid and that's a freebie for kellogg's deep back sight that's where the spacing was an issue teammates need to be clearing that pistols close little bit of danger for sure but they've dealt with it nicely dropped the spike and left xl into a 2v4 that's the right they're ready they are ready for any sort of backs a little bit too far and expecting them to fall back into another take onto a it's spotted of kellogg's as well they've got the info that he's on the back side okay the molly going down into the corner the old still online for now five seconds but they get in towards the site. Here goes the oh. blade storm, and it's dealing Five massive down. damage. Lockdown eventually detaining. Detained. And I'm gonna. That's done. Okay, had a tech. No time left. I, I was worried that a second. These players, but the fact is, it is still gonna be a push into the site. Now there's a res available, but that's useless at the moment to G2 because nobody's died. Kellogg's though. Well, he, he might be getting close to it because <laughs> he just goes walking in with an off. <laughs> charge in his way i mean ambitious if anything certainly prompted on by that res that's coming through now the numbers equalized xl have a tougher task these weaker weapons going to be challenged once this utility goes down and things come into more ranged engagements chihuahua close on 50 hp not even able to get a kill he did connect a headshot but no frag after and the attackers are falling apart all oh, left down element and on the back of the site, he couldn't hold on any longer, taking a kill and falling the hoodie after. This defuse will be found. We need to win one of the next three maps to qualify on into EMEA challengers. I mean, this is uh, a big task for X. Take the Bladestorm fight up mid, nothing found. Now they refocus their attention. Look, different again. Kellogg's, he has a chance here with the off, and he's going to catch Element. Bladestorm down. Had a tech. Wondering whether he even thinks about going for it. The flash does connect. And it forces Kellogg's off the angle. But they are not committing to A anymore. XL are moving back over to this B site. The wall about to break. But look who's holding it. Patiently waiting. Hoodie has spotted them. And they'll drop a slow and get on out of there. 
uh, just delaying. And, and the fact is because they've locked down the rest of the map, the only place that they really have to worry about is mid, and you can see that Meadow is already watching for it, making sure that any space that's being taken will be seen. There might be a timing here. The problem is the rest of the players are being slaughtered as they look to walk through onto the site. It's now down to Padatek to find something, and he still doesn't get the kill onto Ketlogs. His whole team is now gone. He's got 20 seconds to try and save this, and why well, it's impossible. No Spirit versus Heretics, 9-3. So I, I wouldn't be surprised to see more of the same. And hey, but progressively still, obviously we're on the old iteration of Breeze. As you can see, the patch currently allowing Chamber to be in, but everything else is uh, out, and the on the map changes. So no big old yellow. Oh, the side angle for Chihuahua. It's nasty, and he keeps on going. One to zero for XL. Yeah. Down over here towards the A side. Looks like they're heavily suspicious of a play coming out of XL, but, well, they've had their suspicions confirmed in the worst possible way. Nuki on the site, only good for the one. Chihuahua won 5 HP and took that duel. And he came out of it with just as much. Still sitting in towards the halls. He has got complete control with Aussie low as well. This is very winnable for trying to use the door to his advantage. But the fact is, he's just going to act as a distraction as Aussie goes in from behind and kills us all over. It leaves just one man standing. Meadow at least able to make this one a bit more costly. But you have to bear in mind, this is only a bonus round. And as long as they don't do anything oh! silly... It's a little bit uncomfortable. I don't think there's any time anyway, but even still, it's going to be Chihuahua to close it out. Force truly begins. He's got the operator in hand. Oh. <laughs> Not for long. He's just been dumb. Here's the reward. There's three players lined up for him. He'll take the first two as easy as can be. And now XL are trapped on the site. They've got players all around them. And they just can't get out of this one. 2v3. The spike down in the open. And too many angles, surely, but Chihuahua gets an off one, and now we're into a 2v2. Suddenly, this has become winnable for the attack. Yeah, they're, they're almost completely surrounded. Nuke, yeah, he's got the read, even after the dash away. I feel like this man is watching the same screen that I am. He knows everything that's going on, reading it perfectly, and it's left on to Chihuahua. Surely this cage is going to fade in just a second, and he's left completely in the open. No chance facing off against Beto. He's not going to get hit by any of the KO utility. Yeah. He's definitely not going to get hit because they're going in the other direction. Now, this takes the dash offline, leaves a lot to be desired. Good trade out spot. You're vulnerable to spams, but none come through. Hunter's Fury providing the cover for a moment. Nova's going to try to sneak on in. Kellogg's already taken down Padatek before dropping, but Ozzy is still at large inside that Viper's Pit. And that's the be-all and end-all of a round like this. If you do not get Ozzy out of there, the round's already done. And indeed, it will finish off like that and all the way up. And he's even got Nuki with him on the other side of the wall. Oh, this is so nasty. In through they go. And as, as Kellogg's is spraying away, Nuki is finishing them off. And even Meadow chiming in to help at the end. That... It's a fantastic round. 2v2, though, that comes um, from... 2v2? Like, what? How's that happened? Kellogg will take down one. And that was left on to Chihuahua. He's been the star of the show so far. Or one versus two to give them another round. And he's looking in the right direction. But Nuke again pops his head. And G2 are going to have a battle of the Cyphers. Good positioning from Meadow is going to be enough to catch. Now they're slowly being flanked on. They've taken a lot of control elsewhere. But they need to clear of over. And the spike is now just stuck. It's being watched. Patatex clearing it. I mean, fair play for checking all this core. They've done a good job of that. Flawlessly won. And indeed finished out. <laughs> there we go. I was waiting to see what happened on that one. I think Ozzy tested. And we said a couple of times now, the knife on Meadow is going to be a big problem if it gets hit. And it does. He's already taken the cage back, immediately aware that that was going to come through. And Evolve is then playing the secondary Ooh. angle, taking a triple. This is such a nice setup from one G2. It has worked. Meadow falls and no one else does. Oh, the entire not. intention of acting on a different level, Spike not just play. mechanically. Careful. Axel, I've got a plan, but they've lost Patatech. My God, but he's walked up, taking the kill for free. Oh, that's really I nice. You've got so much utility landing on Element. There was nowhere he could stand without being hit. Now he's 7 <laughs> HP and a snake <laughs> fight comes in. Oh, there was no escape for this man. Hit by every piece of utility under the sun. And XL 
getting absolutely destroyed, but here's the thing. Post plant setups, there's too many players. They can keep swapping in and out. Yeah, you can kill them, but you've got to kill them a couple more times, or they're just going to keep on defusing. Six to six as Jeet struggle with the lack of comfort, but I don't think there's been a lack of comfort visible so far. Meadow's gone down. A shock dart bounced through by Mo. Claims his scalp. Damage done to Hoodie as well. Great start on this retake for XL. They just need to be careful not to give anyone away for free. Going I think that might have been a, a snake bite combo with it. It was an assist coming through from Ozzy. And now Paditek on the flank has already managed to find another. This looking rough. And while Kellogg seemed to have a nice timing, it's left all onto Nuke. Classic of this rage. Hoping that he could fire at every single target at once. But it is, will definitely make things that little bit tougher for the remaining players on this site. And Kellogg's, of course, known for that space taken. Chihuahua, though, has been able to find one. Paditek's found another. This is the to fall apart with Ozzy on the corner, leaving just Meadow. This was only meant to be a bonus, but he's brought it back. It might just be possible, but Element is going to catch him as he tries to crawl. I think that looks like a far more reasonable reality. Had to take with a quick ulti. It's going to stop any util from coming towards him. And he's seen three players inside of mid. This is this huge info? The whole team is rotating, but he has been dropped. Oh, Element almost managing to find something back on the corner, but. Not really getting anything for it, and oh, it is going to be an afterplot. Meadow looks back at the perfect time. It's going to give them the info of where they are, but Chihuahua is looking to carry this team on his back. Another couple of kills coming in for the Cypher. The hard carry for this team right now. The Marv over, sat within his ult. Doesn't have much help here from Meadow. Just pinging a couple of players here and there, but he can't shoot out of that ult. Otherwise, it will give away his spot. Last player standing. Oh, he's at least got the one, but how much more can be found playing with the Vandal now? You maybe get punished, or maybe not! A oh my! Gets out with every single one and a 10 to oh, That's perfect! It suppressed him so he gets the timing! Oh, this couldn't have gone any better. Maybe the most important piece of utility used this entire game, or what Panetics killed everyone as he goes anyway. He used the util and then got all of the kills. It leaves Hoodie on the ground and Kellogg's trying to bait him in. It hasn't really worked. It'll be 11 coming out from X. Everything needed, basically, to close this one out. Well, onto site we go. And Kellogg's is opening it. G2 have found the opening. Now the op comes in. They've dealt with that, too. In fact, it was Nukia catching him with the Hunter's Fury. Mo tries to return it, but only good for the one kill. And now the Operator's in the hands of Kellogg's. I'll say he hasn't been great with it so far here on Breeze, though. And Evolva's gone down. Three versus two still. Chihuahua! There's the kill they need. They've now got an angle from both sides. All they need to do is win their respective duels. And it's Kellogg's on the off that worries me. If he can find a shot, he even has the Blade Storm to go back to if necessary. He misses the first, but Meadow's quick to return and leave Patatek alone. Monumental player for this XL squad so far. He finds the first time against him, Blade Storm, but down goes the Fragment. He knows Kellogg's has to push around the side. He's waiting for the peak, but Kellogg's doesn't believe he's sticking it. Walks in eventually. Time is low, but he's got that nice and comfortably. D2. It's full extent, a, a very close round, and one that G2 definitely could have won. Great, they didn't manage to pull it over the line of some solid retake. Well, goodbye. This time, he is ready for these peaks. They've gone for a, a similar sort of force oh. out of the corner, but Element is going to take three. It does not work twice. No Hunter's Fury to kill him this time, and I bet they wish they had it. No, there's no way. There's just no way. Evolva, you gotta go huge. Vandal in hand, he finds the first and up and goes flank. the wall, but that flank is gonna shut down most plant possibilities. 20 seconds left? I mean, there's not a lot of time. Even to cycle that Viper utility. And they're gonna need it if they're gonna plant open for spawn. No, they're not. Evolva's just gonna go running through on the back of the flash. A little bit late. But it comes down to a 1v2. It's winnable for Huddy. He knows where one player is. He knows where the second is too, but he oh. won't be able to connect anything. XL, find this one 13 to 7, a map that we expected them to win. We'll see how it's going to go this time. I think a lot of this will actually rely on Patatech. How he's going to perform in this one of over. He's got a bullet and well, he's going to be spotted. Patatech will get the heal up as well. So.
putting himself in a great spike spot. Planted. With that spike planted. XL start to fall back, but they're going to run into Kellogg's here. Or Kellogg's is going to run into them. With Meadow falling, though, it might not matter about the flank if there's nothing to slow them down in front. Kellogg's doing damn well. Leaves it down to just Element, and they almost know where he is. At least they suspect it, and he's got to make a play now, getting the space over towards Pipes, but Kellogg's was too quick. What a fantastic pistol round from this young gun, giving G2 one to zero in themselves. And in their ability here on the attack, what a statement it would be to win it. The push coming in, XL slowed down by a bit of Viper utility, and they've lost Ozzy. That's going to be the spike down. Great info. G2 start to rotate. Nukia farming up up close with Meadow. Finishing off the kills, but with 20 HP, it keeps on going. That's a mistake. At least it proves to be. Especially when there was a Sage online, Tom. Could have went back yeah. for the heal. And maybe a little bit over-aggressive. Maybe thought he was going to get pushed on and just wanted to give himself the best chance. The fact is, though, they don't necessarily need to push this. Instead, it's actually going to be the hunt coming through. Oh, Kellogg's has caught two as they tried to back away. Even lands a tag on to Mo. Giving his two teammates the best possible opportunity to close out this round. Yeah, at this point, look, there's not really much hope for Mo. 49 health, and on the crossover, he's been caught. Meadow only had a Spectre, but he's going to be as damaging. He's going to know as well as anyone else that they're going to be waiting. Timing going to be the main factor here, and for a Vova, it's free. I've left. even got some utility to try and deny this. I like that they had a shot dart behind. Oh. The nano just to catch him as he tried oh. to run away. There are some lovely combos. He's broken the UI. In here. He got a three. Yeah, he has. He, he, the opponent's been pinged, but he didn't expect the second one. Chihuahua makes the run through. Now, there's still a few bonus weapons here. There's some SMGs in play. And a lot of these rounds have been very costly, but now Meadow comes in from behind and manages to catch another, making this back into a 4v4 scenario. They still have a hold ready. And now Nuke has got an operator. And, well, let's be real, he's no slouch. Yeah, Element's gone as well. This is a, a massive problem for XL. Getting onto this site will be tough, but they've taken down Hoodie. It's a good first step. They still have the wall online. That's where the Nano Swarm slows, delays, eliminates Padded Tech from afar with an Operator. G2 are miles ahead. This round is basically theirs. If someone needs to step it up, and Ozzy's been hurt. They know exactly the surprise strategy he was trying to deploy, and they'll catch him in the act. Ford XL to get into, but... They sort of pigeonhole themselves by not having any control elsewhere. You kiss the one to, to get pinged up, get tagged, but there's actually a tag in response. Ozzy goes down and Avova's still just lurking within the shadows, landing every shot that's put upon him. Now the full force of G2 is waiting, and well, there is a reason that a lot of people do not go pushing into a Viper's pit, especially one like that with elevated control. Chihuahua, he knows he needs to get the first kill, and... I like the attempt. It's just a nice idea. Not gonna get starting to get a little bit concerning at this stage. You know, he, 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 well, nice opening. There's All right. a few strategies I hate more than uh, playing solo on one side of the map for a minute and making noise, getting spotted by a drone, and then continuing to sit there. Um, because if your opponents have pushed behind, you're gone. You need at least a lurker or some utility to cover your back, then make sure they haven't pushed. They didn't have that. XL took a lot of uh -oh. risks. Now, though, they got a lot of kills. No dash online for Kellogg. Sorry, you're gone. And XL come from one of the worst rounds we've seen to possibly one of the best. They just run over the B site and leave Evolva to try and clutch it all. Have you ever seen Rush XL before? Yes, actually. A, few, a fair few times. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. My yeah, it was a good attempt. <laughs> I don't know what Evolva's open for here. Gonna try and take some space as oh! Oh, well, they couldn't have pushed into it though. Both tagged up low. Now there is a lurk coming in from behind, but he's just gonna try and stick this halfway. At least get it a little bit oh, further. No. no, he's just going for the whole thing all the way through. No, no way of over. No way you have just done that. That was a one versus five, right? Or at least four. Only what it is. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> oh no. That's going to haunt XL for a very, very long time. That should have been over a long time before that. And while well, Kellogg's knows that they're still pushing in this direction, he's going for the same play again. Didn't work the first time. Let's see how it goes the second time. <laughs> Almost exactly the same. Oh, it seems like that might not be the best strat. Don't worry, I'm over the live. It's fine. Chihuahua was like, bro, I've got my ult. I'm <laughs> going to put the Viper's Pit down. He just came running over. With the Viper's pit in his hand, I don't know what he was thinking.
Well, there's no way that they clutch this one. Evolva with one more player than the previous one before. But yeah, they're not pushing it this they time. They haven't run through the snake bite, so yeah, big improvement. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well. Thankfully, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. You don't get a killjoy every game. That's not the rarest thing in the world, but it's a really nice setup. Oh, my God. Evolva stood in the middle. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, this guy's... A no, I think uh, completely unpredictable oh, actions going out there. <laughs> Nukia able to eliminate Element Chihuahua's going to try to find some space around the back. He has done exactly that by eliminating Meadow. Now sneaking his way out right into Kellogg's line of sight. And a oh. second will be found with Nukia sideswiping Ozzy. 7-1. to one. You thought it was bad enough, but G2 have come... It, it seems like in a lot of these rounds there's been opportunities. It hasn't worked out. And while Buddy left behind... Gonna manage to get himself one, drop the spike, get the info pinged up as well as Ellen. Oh no, the timing couldn't have been any worse. He waits for the final ping so that he can throw the smoke down and then he gets pre-fired by Meadow anyway. And Kellogg's is still lurking around. Mo, well, he's got to pull off a miracle and we, we saw a few whiffs, a few misses. Always will. <laughs> oh my god. Kellogg's was ready for it. Oh, he's ready oh, for dear. that, too! Oh, God! Oh, someone stop this guy! He's got four kills already! And looking for the ace! Kellogg's has got it! 10-1! to Miles away will present a different challenge. He'll be active for the retake. The wall to be broken. She can be seen. <gasps> the ponytail visible. They even catch her on the way back. Okay, Ozzy gets found. But Kellogg's taken down. He was trying a late flank, and he's been spotted. Great blade storm out from Element. It's a little late, but looks like XL have finally got a second round. Oh, Meadow. <laughs> got to try and aim at the whole team as they'll be coming in thick and fast once the move is made, but G2 are taking their time. Oh, here they come. But he has spotted one down below, but they're not winning any of these duels. XL are coming out ahead. And then some. Last and with only Hoodie left, there wasn't much hope at all. Exo You've got the two duelists fighting in towards B. It, it's almost That's unexpected with both of them being able to get anything here in Element. With one of those two rifles has managed to start things off at least. Paditech flying close. The Lear could be everything here. If he could find something through the edge of it. But Nuke is actually going to go pushing. And he's found by Paditech as well. These stars are shining for XL once again. Leaving it all onto Meadow. And this time he gets nothing. Most of the players on that defensive side. And XL now get a chance to step up massively. There's Element for two. Oh. And he's dashed out as well. Spike down. 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 Gorgeous start. They've locked them in. The, the wall just making things irritating, setting him up to not be wrapped on. Avova still managing to get the trade. Looking to try and clear some of these other angles. The problem is getting into their own after plant becomes quite a bit more Welcome difficult with their current world. positions. And Panatech insta healing the second he gets a kill. He could take some more risks here. Avova, though, managing to find another. The problem is sticking this plant will inevitably be his demise. And well, he doesn't even get it down and likely just going to get rid of it. The elevated angle doesn't do anything. And while it probably will still grant them a plant, how do they get much more? Hoodie is so good with the Marshall, it's actually not fair. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, this guy came into the game as a jet operator player. He was a CSGO off player for a long time. So no surprise to see him perform well with the scope. But he needs to hit a couple more nice shots now as the retake has started. XL traded out on the first, at least with Mo falling. The blade storm from afar, delivering even more. Great round from Kellogg's. One of the only players that can really fight on range. Another one, though, is Nukia. Because he's got this Hunter's Fury. Oh, he's hitting all the tags. 20 HP left on Element. Now down to 14, and he's about to get shot in the... Shot somewhere. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. Shot in the face by Meadow. It happened. Look at this push down mid. Do they expect another player to be here? Well, if they do now, they've seen Ozzy. Is a reek on the clear close right corner? Oh, no. Well, that's a bit sad. Chihuahua was solo this side of the map. Look how quickly everybody moves to try to get back over <laughs> here. 
Oh, that's cursed. <laughs> Everything in this round is just cursed. First peek into oh. a firing squad. Missed shot with the ult. You're gonna get caught by no. a turret. Everything's gone wrong. Every single at least Definitely. Element managed to get one. If they win this round, it will be a miracle because it seems like everything that could have gone bad in this round has gone bad. Element though, he's found another. He's giving them that little bit of hope, and Kellogg's not connecting his initial shot, gives them a bit more space. Oh, they didn't actually manage to take Aussie down while he was picked up, but Nuki is just too clean. In there for a triple, Kellogg's with the other two. Where they expect everyone to be here, but I, I think they've all been spotted now. I think every single member of it has been seen, but it may not matter. Kellogg's is going to trade the first out. One just sat in the snake bite. He's going to take so much damage and a Volva. Well, he knows the second anyone touches a snake bite, they're automatically dead with this man around. Rez coming through. Peek in from Jawa. He's got his fourth kill of the round, and now it's left. All onto Nuke here. He's one of the people you definitely want them over, obviously, being the other. He might still be able to bring this home, but he shoots between the two. It will start to get scary. <laughs> yeah, we saw happen last time when those ultimates come online. I, I, I like the fact that they, they say so passive there in a lot of those scenarios. Like, after the initial peak for Element, it was just a solid hold. They managed to deny the plant. They, they definitely caught a couple of players off guard as well, just with the... But XLR gradually shifting away from this site. Now's the perfect time to push. As these players are caught moving away, Patatek will grab one element with another, and now they just need to play post plant. No need to run. Wow. This definitely has not gone. <laughs> not gone great on the execution. An attempt being made by Kellogg. Oh, Ooh, he actually manages to get the fadeaway headshot yeah. onto one of them, giving an opportunity for the plant, but down to just one remaining knife to try and land. Or two, it didn't matter, he missed both of them anyway. Meadow has found another with the rifle, but it eventually falls onto one. Nuke, he may have himself a Hunter's Fury, but it's not going to play a part in this one. A rifle picked oh. up, and he goes on the swing. It leads down to him versus Chihuahua. The 1v1 potentially closing the series. He looks oh. 